Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about forecast in Tableau. Tableau takes the help of exponential smoothing model and gives us a forecast in Tableau. Now, uh, this basically works on a concept that when we have a date field in the visualization and we want to analyze any of our measures like the sales, the profit, the quantity we have sold over a period of time and along with that we want to see the forecast of that measure for the near future, we can do that in Tableau through the option of forecast that we get in Tableau. Tableau works on the concept of exponential smoothing model. So in this model, what happens is the whisker looks into the entire uh, trend of the measure uh, of your data and giving the more weightage to your recent uh, trend, it for, for plots the forecast for us for the specific time that we have specified. Now in Tableau, we can't change the model on which it is giving us the forecast. The only thing that we can do is customize a forecast on the basis of, of the customization can be done on the basis for the, for the time period that we are looking, the a prediction level that we have and if we have any missing value in the data that can be taken care of. So let's shift to Tableau and see how to create a forecast in Tableau. I am working on sample superstore, the default data that we get in Tableau and I am going to create a monthly sales analysis for us first and then we are going to cre create a six months forecast on the on that visualization. So I'm going to go ahead and because I'm doing a monthly analysis, I'm going to take my continuous one month with a discrete axis and take my sales along with this. Now the concept of date I have already covered in the uh, another video. So you can go ahead and see the concept if you're not aware of it. Now here we have the monthly sales plotted in front of us. For the sales trend that we have for the past four years data or from the data that we have is from 2011 to 2014, I want to see the forecast for the next six months. So once when you have plotted the uh, date visualization in front of you, you can go ahead and right click on the empty space in your visualization and here in this drop down in forecast you have show forecast now the moment i click on show forecast the visql divides my visualization into actual and estimate so as you can see from the color legend the darker blue is my actual data for the amount of date that we have in the visualization and Tableau has given me a forecast for next few months or next few months. Now, like I said, we need to have a date field in for a forecast. There is an option of creating a forecast without a date field, but that I'm going to cover in my another video as of now for us. What is important is to know that if we want the WSQL to give a forecast to us or if we want the Tableau to automatically do the forecast to us, what we have to keep in mind is the more amount of data we provide the WSQL, the better forecast we get. So a month forecast is always better because if you have a very limited data, say like a, just a year data, then definitely you would be having a four, five or roughly 12 months in it. Or we could do a forecast if we have lots of years in our data, we could do a quarterly forecast. So the first step that you have to decide to create a forecast in Tableau is you have to give it a a lot of data points so that it does a better plotting for a forecast for you. Once you have added a forecast, like I said, you can customize your forecast. 
Now, how do I customize my forecast? So once once when we have added the forecast, we can go ahead and in forecast, we have an option that is called forecast option. This forecast option helps me in customizing my forecast. As you can see, my forecast has been taken at automatic. That means it is showing me a forecast of next 13 months. Like I said, we are just interested in six months forecast. So I can change it to exactly six months. And then you can see the length of my forecast has decreased. I can even take the help of until to customize the length of my forecast. Then we have uh, an option of aggregating our data. Now my suggestion here would be that you aggregate the data to the level of which you are seeing the data at. So here I'm seeing my data at the month level and Tableau is smart enough to pick up my aggregation at the month level. I can leave it as is or I can specifically pick up a month if I want to be extra cautious. We have an option of ignore last one month because we would be working on maximum times Tableau uh, would be connected to live data sets and we would be working with live data sources in Tableau. The either practice is that when we are dealing with forecast, we usually ignore the last one month. That is because, you know, the, 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 the month that you are in, if you have crossed a particular month and it is difficult for us to analyze the trend of the business that is going to take place in next specific uh, number of days that are left. So it's a forecast best practices to ignore the last month. Also, you have an option of filling the missing values with zero. That is, if you have null in your data or if you have missing values in the data, Tableau is going to put a zero there and it will help a Tableau to give us a forecast. I'm going to remove this. And then we have options of seeing the forecast model with seasonality customizing it or leaving it automatic. We would go for seasonality of the data when we know that there is a kind of seasonality that kind of affects our data. If we have any information related to trend or the season in our data source, we can go ahead with this selection. Since I'm not aware of the seasonality of the data, I want to bring that bring this back to automatic. Prediction level is how high and how low my prediction can go. Now, if you look at my forecast that Tableau has given me over here, we can see an area grayed out uh, or colored. Along with this, we can see a very strong line here. This strong line is kind of a plotting that Tableau has done according to exponential smoothing model, looking into the last data that we have specified the WSQL. Along with this, it is giving me a confidence interval or prediction interval of 95%. This is that our prediction or our forecast can go as high as this point over here or as low as this point of uh, sales over here. We can change the prediction level to 95, 99 or 90%. I'll go for 90% prediction. And here Tableau is just giving us a write-up of the forecast that it has given us. Once I'm satisfied with the length, the seasonality, the rolling up of the data and the prediction level, we can go ahead and click on OK. This is kind of giving us the prediction for the next six months. Once you have added a forecast in your visualization, you can go ahead and notice that now your measure is coming with a forecast icon. If I expand my sum of sales from the right side, we will get an option of forecast result. And from here, I can see the trend, precision, 
quality of the forecast, upper prediction level, and any other information that I would want or that I would require for understanding my forecast better. There's one last thing that I would like to discuss is, in the forecast, we have describe forecast option. Describe forecast is just going to talk about the time series, the measure on which we are analyzing the forecast, the length of the time for which we are analyzing the forecast, and all other relevant informations that we had supplied the visual with. It also gives me an idea about how my forecast quality is, uh, is there. Also, when we click on model, it talks a little bit about the forecasting model that we have. We can even copy this, this and use it for our uh, further analysis. So this is creating forecast in Tableau. Once you have created a forecast, we can analyze it by adding trend lines in the visualization. But before I finish it off, there are a few constraints in forecast. In Tableau, you can't add a forecast to a view if your view has stable calculation, calculation, if we have disaggregated measures, if we have any kind of percentage calculation, grand totals or subtotals, or date value with aggregation set to exact date. These are few constraints of forecast, which I would request you to keep in mind while adding a forecast in Tableau. It's all from my side. Thank you.